This is Dr. Buckley, and in this video we'll be talking about other ways in which to shift the supply curve. We know from the law of supply that holding all else constant, increasing the price of a good, increases the quantity supplied, and decreasing the price of a good decreases the quantity supplied. We also know about expansions in supply that can come from reductions in input prices or improvements in production technology. These shift the supply curve to the right. We also have the opposite contractions in supply that could come from increases in input prices or reduction in production technology. These shift the supply curve back to the left. We can also think about how producer expectations might affect the supply curve. If producers expect the future price of a good to be lower than they previously thought, then the supply curve today will actually expand. And this is because if they think about the future price being lower, that means they won't make as much profit if they wait till the future to sell it. So they'll go ahead and try to sell it today. Thus, that extra sales today expands the supply curve. And the reverse happens as well. If producers expect the future price of a good to be higher than they previously thought, then the supply curve today will actually contract because they'll hold off selling it today and wait to try to sell it in the future when they can get that higher price for it. This is typically what we think of as being speculation. We can also think about how the number of producers affects the supply of a good. If there's an increase in the number of firms that make a product, then that's going to cause the supply curve to expand. Or if there's a decrease in the number of firms that make a product, that's going to cause the supply curve to contract. So up until this point, we've talked about changes in supply and changes in demand as being separate from the other curve. But let's go ahead and in these next videos, put those things together. So we'll put a change in supply together with a demand curve, or we'll put a change in demand together with a supply curve and see how that affects price and quantity.